Once you have the height and the diameter of the tree, you can use a volume table to cord, uh, calculate what the cord wood volume of each tree is. There are two measurements we take. One is for board foot of lumber, and one is for cord wood, which is used in pulp and paper manufacturing. Smaller trees are used to make paper products, and larger trees are used to make lumber, which is again the board foot measurement. We're going to use a volume table for cord wood, which is firewood and pulp and paper. So you take the height of the tree, you take the diameter of the tree, and use the volume table for this region, for this species of trees, which in this case is ponderosa pine, and find the cordwood volume, add those up, and you'll get the cordwood volume per plot. Now, if we use a one-fifth acre plot, you'll multiply that number by five to get cords per acre. If you were doing a firewood sale, you could divide it by 128, which is a, the cubic feet in a cord of wood, and you could get how many cords of firewood per plot or acre. All right? Now, we're going to do that as an assignment, so we're not going to do it, but I'm going to keep going here on the slideshow and talk about the last one. We learned this the first day of school, and that was... How to use an increment bore. So we have an increment bore here and also a picture right there. And you can do the age and growth rate by using this increment bore. And you can count the number of branches. You can count the number of annual rings. You can cut down the tree. Or you can use an increment bore. So an increment bore is the best way to get a core sample. And on the top up here, it shows you um, how you must get the pith of the tree, and then count the annual rings. So we'll talk about that more in the field and in the slideshow. Other calculations that are made, we are going to be learning, are basal area, trees per acre, volume, and slope. Let's start here with basal area. The cross section, or the area of a tree, at breast height is called the basal area. It's computed as the basal area of each tree, and it's called square feet per acre. And the two tools we use for that are a prism and an angle gauge. So let me show you those. This is the angle gauge, and we can hold that up and figure out how wide the tree is without making a plot. In this case, and this is what we used in Minnesota, we would use a prism, and that is just a way to fracture the top from the bottom of the tree. And if the two points meet, it's in, and if the two points don't meet, it's out. By using a basal area factor, on an angle gauge or a prism, you can calculate the basal area of a forest. So, if the tree basal area is 0.5454 and your plots are a quarter acre, then you take that number times 4 and you get 218 square feet per acre. All right? So we could do that math, but we're going to um, wait for the field work to um, have me teach you that in person. So trees per acre, count the number of trees, multiply by your expansion factor. We really don't do that very often. It's actually a test question, and it is not the most effective way to measure your forest. Um, also, we'll learn... Um, how to calculate slope, and that is done by looking at your partner through the clinometer again. Determine what part of the partner's body is zero, have them walk to the edge of the plot, and then zero in again, and that percent is the percent slope. So these are two things we'll practice 
in the field, but not on this PowerPoint slide right now. So I'm going to give you lots of practice. Don't worry about this. We'll do it out in the field, and then we'll go up to Rocky Mountain National Park and set up plots and learn more about this hands-on. All right.